Welcome back for a short episode of Christopher's finally organizing something. We're gonna clean up this mess. So it's just one small piece of the garage, but this garage is a mess. It's a three car garage and we've got my project car with things stacked on top of it and the wife's car. And that's all that fits in here after all the junk. So the goal is over the next few weeks to get things organized enough that I can park my daily driver in the garage as well. So today is the start to that. We are going to make this our garden corner. So we've got all of our um, shovels and rakes and we've got the, uh, the gorilla cart wagon, um, probably our uh, potting soil or fertilizer, those kinds of things we're going to be putting here. Do you want to, do you want to tell everyone on the camera where we got, where we got the hooks for the, for the shovels? We got them from Amazon. Oh. Do you want to tell everyone it's from Amazon? Can you tell it to the camera? So the hooks we're using to hang the shovels are available on Amazon. I've got a link down in the description below. So feel free to use that link if you're looking to organize some space of yours. And right now Jacob is bringing me some toys that we need to play with before I get started. All right, what do we got? You're gonna bring me all of them. All right. Alright Jacob, all clean. It's ready for us to start. They gave us a nice bag of sheetrock anchors and screws. Probably won't be using the sheetrock anchors. I'm going to be going into studs as much as I can. give you guys a quick demonstration of an easy method of using these sheetrock anchors without having to pre-drill a hole with the drill bit. You can just keep your number two Phillips bit in your drill and go to town. So I'm going to be sticking this guy right about here. Right? There is no stud here. So I'm just going to hold him up against the wall. mark my two spots. Alright, so now that I've popped it through with the number two Phillips, these are these self-tapping sheetrock anchors. So I'm just going to stick that in the hole. Just pop that in place, just snug, not over tightening it. Same thing down here. Just snug, and then grab 
my Phillips screw. And I always leave the first one loose so that I can line up the next one fairly easy. And there we have it. That bottom anchor didn't, uh, didn't attach as well as I would like it to, but for hanging what we're gonna hang, it's fine. If I'm hanging anything heavy, if I'm hanging anything heavy, I'm going for a stud anyway. But for something like a little uh, pump, so that we can have this hanging on the wall in case we need it for pumping up the bike tires, um, that works great. There we have it. Well, that was basically a, a pretty quick project. Um, I just needed my cordless drill. I did have a, a small drill bit for the places where I did not have studs that I could pre-drill for the sheetrock anchors. They did include the, uh, the cool little self-tapping sheetrock anchors, which would work better if I didn't have paneling on top of the sheetrock. I could have just gone straight in with those. So now I've got a place for the cart. I can put our trash bags up on the wall and uh, Jacob's bike where he has access to it, as opposed to on the ceiling where we have to get it down. It went pretty well. Um, grab the, uh, the hooks on Amazon, link below, and get your garage organized too.